Hey guys, it's Brooke with Super Tutor TV. Are you wondering what am I going to do with my summer vacation? If that's you and you're in high school and you're looking for some ideas, this video is here to help. If you haven't already, I encourage all of you to subscribe to our channel. You do that by clicking subscribe below this video and head to our website, supertutortv.com slash subscribe and subscribe to our mailing list. You can also check out our best ACT prep course ever while you're at supertutortv.com. It's a complete prep series online for the ACT. I will walk you through everything that you need to know to do the best you can on the ACT. It has over 50 hours of content, so go check it out and let's get into this list. Number one, my number one idea is summer school. The reason to go to summer school, if you're an overachiever, is that if you get all those silly classes out of the way, like typing and health and American government or whatever classes that you have to take that you can't take an AP or honors version, if you can shove those into your summer and get them taken care of, then what happens is you have more room in your schedule during the regular school year to take courses that are AP or honors or can challenge you. So take summer school, it's awesome, it's affordable. Most school systems have them. And if your school system doesn't, you can talk to your guidance counselor and see if you could transfer units from a different local high school, like say you go to private school, see if you could transfer public high school credits in uh, that you do during summer school to make an impact on your required classes. Cool, number two, my second idea for your summer is to go to college. I don't mean enroll in college full-time forever. I just mean as a high school student, most colleges and universities will allow you to take actual classes over the summer. And some will even have special programs for high school students. I have many students that I've tutored that have taken physics or taken upper level science courses or challenged themselves with the kind of classes that they can't find at their high school or the caliber of teachers that they can't find at their high school. And that's been not only a good experience for them, but it's helped them build out their resume as a high school student and prove to colleges that they are really interested in cutting their teeth in a challenging academic environment. If you don't have a large university like UCLA nearby, well, everyone typically has a community college in their community and that's another great place to learn. The other place that you can go to college is there are a lot of college programs at elite universities. I will warn you that these summer programs can be extremely cost prohibitive for some families and students, so don't get down if you can't afford them. I don't think it's any better looking on your college application than going and applying yourself and taking a really rigorous physics course at your local community college necessarily, especially if you don't have the means to go to that expensive summer program. Number three, my third idea is take an online course. If mom and dad aren't gonna drive you to the community college down the street and they're not gonna take you to summer school or you don't have summer school or that sounds boring, you can always take an online course. What's awesome about online courses is they're very convenient. A lot of them are free and you can study almost anything in the world. Whatever you're interested in, there's an online course for it. Go and check it out this summer. Okay, number four, enter scholarship contests or other competitions. Another great way to push yourself forward creatively or give yourself kind of an artificial deadline if you want to do an independent project of sorts is to find a competition that can give you a little bit of motivation to do it. A lot of them are free for high school students and they don't have any entry costs. Um, you can even find writing contests that you could get scholarship money from. So find some contests and go at it. Okay, next, number five, my number five idea is research. One of the coolest activities that some of my students have had on their resumes as high school students has been working with real researchers on real awesome stuff. Now, you could do your own independent research project and try to find a mentor for it, or you could try to join somebody else's research project. And the best way to do either one of those is to try to find some friends by cold calling or cold emailing professors at your local university or graduate students. Figure out what kind of areas you're interested and then find the kind of people in your area that are doing that kind of research and call them up or email them or try to get in touch with them. The results could be really awesome. Maybe you could work on a cancer cure over the summer. That would be really cool, right? So go out there, try to get involved in research and try to explore your interests in that way. Number six, get a job or an internship. 
So jobs and internships are both respectable ways to spend your summer. If your family needs you to contribute financially to help them out, a job is a great way to do that. And colleges totally understand that and get that. So if that's your game, go and get a job and go help mom out and bring in some cash and help pay for college. Now, if you want, you can also get an internship. There's even paid internships out there if you look hard enough and are early enough in the process. The other thing that I'll recommend is if you know where you wanna work, don't be shy. Go ahead and email them and tell them you're interested in a job or interested in an internship, even if they haven't posted something. You never know, they might take you up on the offer. And the worst thing that can happen, nobody emails you back. It's really not that scary. So go out there in the real world, Put yourself out there and see if you can get a job or an internship. And then finally, in terms of jobs, and one other job idea is you could consider working away from home at like a summer camp or something like that. Oftentimes those are great opportunities for high school students and you can get out of the house a little bit. Not bad, right? Okay, number seven, get into politics. If you're interested in politics or international relations or something like that, see if you can volunteer with a local political campaign a local political office, or for a local politician. All people in politics are underfunded in some way and they're always looking for help, so don't be afraid to reach out and get involved. Number eight, start a business. If you have a little entrepreneur in you, this one is for you. Whether you're going to be teaching violin lessons or tutoring or walking people's dogs, see if you can start your own business this summer and see how it goes. If you're interested too in more big ideas or starting a real company, you might also check into organizations like Founders Bootcamp we have in LA, which tries to help students create startups from scratch. It's kind of crazy, but very exciting. You might check into that. You can also look into, there's a program at MIT called Launch, which is super cool, which allows students to create startups over the summer. So if something like that interests you, get out there, Google away, and see what kind of opportunities are out there. You might even be able to build the next award-winning app, even as a 17-year-old. So go, sky's the limit, see what you can accomplish. Number nine, squeeze in some test prep. Summers are a great time to prep for the ACT or the SAT. That could mean signing up for a course, like our course, the best ACT prep course ever, available at supertutortv.com, or it could mean coming up with a self-study plan, but whatever your plans are, it's a great time to get on top of those tests because otherwise they could really come to haunt you junior year and you don't wanna show up and not be prepared, right? Cool. Number 10, travel abroad. There are several programs available for high school students to get out there in the world and travel internationally. Even if you don't have a ton of money, some of those programs might also offer scholarships or may offer a stipend if you're working. So you can check those out as well. Number 11, write some essays. This one is really just for juniors. If you're a junior and you're going into senior year, Get on top of your college essays and you will be so thankful come fall because you won't have to deal with it when you're overwhelmed with school. Now I know that oftentimes the common application in schools do not lock down their prompts until later in the summer. And even though that's true, it doesn't mean that it's worthless to write essays earlier. As long as you have the prompts from last year, most of the time they're very similar to the ones that will be given next year. And so most of the time you can adapt your essays to make them work for the prompts for the current year. So don't be afraid, get some prompts, even if they're last year's prompts, write a few essays, get started in this college essay process, and you're gonna be ahead of the game. And finally, my last advice, or my last idea for you guys for this summer is visit some colleges. Talk to your parents now and see if they'd be down for a college visit trip. Or ask your school. Sometimes schools will go on college visit trips over the summer. And see what opportunities are available so that you can visit some schools and get that in-person feel at, uh, at some of the schools you might be interested in. If it's not in your budget to do that, then you can also get online and look and read about the experiences that other people have. And that can be another great way to explore colleges. I hope you guys like this video. I hope you're making plans for an awesome summer and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Find us on Facebook, you can find us on Twitter, and we're even on Instagram some of the time. So check us out there and I'll see you guys next time at Super Tutor TV. Thanks for watching everybody.